Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I'm speaking such a low voice. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are in New Jersey today. You recognize this spot. I'm always sitting here whenever I want to park here. Every time I come to Jersey, I look like a homeless person because you guys know that I'm going through a lot. Um. <clears throat> Okay, let's talk about it. Um, as you guys know, okay, let me okay, first let me show you what I'm drinking. So I'm drinking water. I made coffee this morning. Well, my boyfriend made me coffee, and in here I'm gonna tell you how to make yourself a latte at home. I'm going to tell you because obviously I cannot show you, but the way that you make a latte at home, baby girl, it's going to be um you put it like up here, like from down here to up here with the skinny creamer the skinny creamer i'm actually going to show you what the skinny creamer is probably in like the next few videos because i want to show you the coffee recipe um i drink now i drink coffee once a week because um i don't like to drink my calories anymore but that's another story so you do you put the skinny creamer up here so the skinny creamer is literally coconut and vanilla and no sugars and then you put milk up to here and then one shot of espresso yes espresso espresso is coffee bitch um and the milk has to be either almond milk that you make yourself or cashew milk that you make yourself it doesn't count if you buy it because the ones that you buy it are really bad for you well not bad but you know what i mean um sorry my voice is a little raspy i've been crying for the past five days so yeah um and then you put a lot of ice and then you put a shot of espresso it's so better but you can taste the coconut and the um the coconut and the what else you can taste the coconut and the um vanilla but is a creamer so the creamer is only like literally like a tablespoon of creamer um about then you put your milk and then that so that is how you make a latte then i'm drinking i'm eating i already ate breakfast i ate two boiled eggs with pepper and um turmeric and a little bit of um kanye pepper and a little bit of, of um salt so i ate that and i um had it with the salt that i bought the other day the real salt whatever 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 then um now before i go into work i'm going to have this yogurt this yogurt it's it's not really good for you honestly because it has like 21 grams of sugar but and it has um whole milk pasteurized cream i don't know what that is sounds disgusting cane sugar mango puree passion fruit juice concentrate cornstarch bitch um natural flavors pets pectin i don't know light active culture and some things that i can't even pronounce that means that it's fake but um my boyfriend got it for me because i mentioned it that i used to eat this a lot but you know i don't i'd rather like just have like regular basic greek yogurt with like a ripe banana or something i don't know but whatever i'll eat it because i'm not gonna let it to waste you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw it out we don't waste food so i'm gonna eat this while i have a couple of minutes to talk to you about what happened a couple of days ago um as you guys know this channel it is my diary okay i most of my videos are pre-recorded like i literally record all of my videos days in advance sometimes weeks depending on how much content or how much videos i'm allowed to record or i decide to record in one day and the reason i do that is because my it's i call it vlogs but obviously they're they're vlogs bitch they're vlogs because you know and i like that style better because i don't like to um i don't like to edit my videos 
but a lot of these vlogs are about me and my life and it's my diary so like i you know and obviously my channel is not that big well it's not big at all i have like five views per videos and those five views are my friends which are you and family that i love and you know, I'm the kind of person that I don't like to text or tell people like what's going on in my life. I'm not the type of person that will casually reach out and say, oh, I'm going through stuff. Like I'm not that type of person and I've never been and I don't think I will, I will ever be unless like I generally need support and I will reach out and let people know like, hey, listen, like I actually need you in my life right now. Like, you know, but other than that like i'm just you know i'm just i don't know how to explain the point is that something happened to me and my family a couple of days ago and you know like i'm still processing it a little bit i'm a lot better i can actually talk about it now you know like i came in turn with that but you guys already saw it my friends have reached out you know, like, I have, like, my three friends that I love so much. And they have been here for me, obviously. And I don't know. The point is that I am going to share my vulnerable moments, bitch. Like, I'm not going to be here and pretend that everything's great because it's not, okay? Like, I'm not a pretender. I've never been. I'm always been like real about myself and like about like that my personal struggles and I'm always going to share that and um and I'm the reason what I'm talking to you about it is because someone reached out to me and said oh my gosh why would you put that on YouTube like bitch first first and foremost is my diary second of all it's my life and third of all I don't have to but I choose to because I am a human after all life is not pink and happy and rainbows and a party all the time okay this one's passion fruit Mango passion fruit. So you go like that. You do it like this. You don't mix it. I don't know if you know, but in my culture, you, when you are grieving and you're murmuring, you're not allowed to, well, you are allowed, but you don't have to. That's like, old-fashioned in the old-fashioned way the right way to um grieve someone for nine days we call it um night the nine days after someone died after you like last yesterday she was um enterrada like they put her on her grave and nine days after that like for from yesterday so it will be i mean yeah yesterday and then starting today's one today's day one of her nine days so that means that for nine days you basically pray for her at um at her house at this case it's going to be at the house that we grew up in and you know you're not allowed to listen to music i mean you are but it's not look good upon because that means that you're happy and you know for some people it's different like she was very like old-fashioned and you know like i am listening to music and like obviously not like celebrating anything you know something huge happened to me on the date of her death that is worth celebrating but i'm not going to celebrate because it's not about me bitch you know like my life is gonna move like i can celebrate anytime 
but right now it's about her and me respecting her and like and I know that she wouldn't care what I do because she knows that I love her and she's always going to be within me and I know that she's like looking down and she is you know but for her because I know how religious and how um like cultural she was like I am going to respect her in that way of not listening to music and not celebrating anything for those nine days and grieve her in the right way and you know like I I don't break down as much as you might expect unless like I'm talking about her and I am you know but like I don't know the point is that I know she's in a better place I haven't had a time to talk to my brother yet you know like I don't even know what to say to him other than tell him that everything's gonna be okay but I know that's not what he wants to hear like what he wants is his mom back and you know he's gonna stay there for the nine days and then he's gonna go back to Canada and I think that maybe this Christmas I'm thinking about surprising him and going to spend Christmas with him in Canada and I haven't talked to my boyfriend about it I just thought about it on my way to work right now and I think that's something that I might want to plan out because although it's technically not a celebration I want to be there for him because I know obviously he's not going to the R for Christmas but his plan was to go to the R for Christmas to visit her for the for the one turn shot but anyway back to the meme and you guys and a fucking rude comment that I received from one of you. A family member that cannot mind your fucking business. So, this family member is from my mom's side. My grandma's, my grandma's side, not from my grandpa's side. By this family member that died. She is my aunt from my grandpa's side. And everybody knows each other, essentially. But she was like, oh, um why are you posting yourself crying on the internet like that is so pathetic like you don't you need to respect her like bitch fuck you like why are you watching my fucking videos this is not for you this is my diary respect me if you don't want to see me crying bitch get the fuck off my <sighs> i didn't respond i ignored the bitch because she deserves to be ignored and then my mom I told her, mm, I didn't tell her, my mom knows that, you know, my mom is very supportive, like, I know me and my mom have my issues, but she's very supportive of me, she she knows about my channel, but I told her that I don't, I'm not, I don't want to share with her, because I talk a lot, a lot about her sometimes, but, um, I don't know. she will essentially do the same thing if she sees my video and i don't care if she sees it i don't care if anybody sees it because it's my fucking diary bitch i'm not here to fake it i'm here to tell you what is happening in my life and the truth anyway i'll see you tomorrow bye